Hi, I'm Steve Borland, Director of Shabor Limited, out here at Oparau. Out at Oparau, we're a multi-species farm, farm deer, sheep, mainly sheep, and uh, a few cattle. We went through a big learning curve with the stock we inherited on this farm. We had huge issues with the sheep, with uh, what we thought may have been drench resistance or over drenching, we weren't sure at all. So we got on board with our vet and uh, every year now we do an animal health plan. We really see our vet other than our annual plan, um, except of course our velvet audit where, where we again review what we're doing. All the time when we're talking to our vet, we're always reviewing what we're doing and where we're going. For our deer, our health, health plan is very simple. We don't drench our mixed age hinds, but we understand the risks and the challenges uh, from that issue. We don't seem to have any issues from doing that. We monitor our wieners. Our wieners are drenched uh, very occasionally, usually for lungworm, which seems to be the biggest challenge on this property. We do not have ticks here on this property yet. No doubt they'll turn up someday in a seagull, but they will be here sooner or later, which is a big challenge in the deer industry. We still do biopsies at the works with our hinds each year in September. Uh, we'll check copper levels and uh, B12 and those levels that are in those uh, samples. And I don't know in previous years how many copper bullets I used to put down deer and uh, probably didn't really do a hell of a lot, but uh, we're, we're well aware that we are copper efficient out here on these uh, ash soils out here at Oparau. And uh, at the moment, uh, we're still continuing with a two mil injection once a year with our hinds. Every, every farm is different to another, just like waterways, just like uh, environmental plans. It's the same with animal health. And together on our animal health plan, I would say over the last year or two, we've probably halved it. We, with the review, there's certain things that we don't have to do now. And uh, yeah, we're very, very happy with the investment we made uh, to take this farm forward into the future.